Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for being here today. I am delighted to be here to announce that the Bermuda Lion Ta Lionfish Task Force has received a grant from the Darwin Plus Fund of the UK Department of Environment, Food and Rural Affairs, or DEFRA, to further the research components of the Bermuda Lionfish Control Plan. The Darwin Plus Fund is an important part of the UK government's network of support for conserving biodiversity and natural ecosystems in the overseas territories. As an island ecosystems, the UK overseas territories are particularly vulnerable to invasive alien species, and the UK has pledged both financial and logistical assistance to help tackle this issue in particular. Lionfish, like this one here behind me, are popular aquarium fish that originally came from the Pacific and Indian Oceans. From a small number of fish released into Florida waters in the 1980s, lionfish have now spread throughout the Western Atlantic from Bermuda to Brazil and across the Caribbean and the Gulf of Mexico. The first lionfish found in Bermuda was collected in 2000 and divers have noticed ever-increasing numbers on our reefs since then. This rapid invasion of the lionfish across the region is of great concern for many reasons. Lionfish are voracious predators that consume large numbers of small fish, yet there are no known predators of the lionfish themselves, so their population continues to grow unchecked. Lionfish are already affecting local fish populations, and this could lead to further import impacts on Bermuda's coral reefs and other marine habitats. With 18 venomous spines in their fins, lionfish also pose a risk to people who might encounter them during fishing, diving, or snorkeling activities. At present, lionfish in Bermuda appear to be concentrated in deeper water and are found less often in the shallows, so there is still a window of opportunity to control this invasive population. Lionfish can be eaten, and this delicate white fish is often described as tasting similar to grouper. Targeting, li targeting lionfish for the table can help control their population in a cost-effective manner. And this strategy has been implemented in various forms throughout the region. However, robust and innovative strategies are needed to tackle the challenge presented by a continual supply of lionfish larvae traveling up the Gulf Stream and the difficulties posed by the depths at which these fish are found locally. In October of 2012, the Bermuda Lionfish Tax Task Force was established to coordinate local efforts to control lionfish and limit their impact on our environment and our economy. The tax Task Force represents a growing number of government departments, organizations from the science, education, and dive communities commercial fishermen, NGOs, the corporate and private sector, and interested individuals. The task force is currently producing a Bermuda Lionfish Control Plan, a guide for implementing the research and management activities necessary to develop the most effective long-term control strategies for lionfish in Bermuda. To support the priority research components, components of the plan, the task force submitted an application entitled the Bermuda Invasive Lionfish Control Initiative to the Darwin Plus Overseas Territories Environment and Climate Fund under DEFRA. The grant proposal was written by collaborators from the Ocean Support Foundation, the Bermuda Institute of Ocean Sciences, the Bermuda Zoological Society, and the Bermuda Government Departments of Conservation Services and Environmental Protection. We are here today to celebrate the award of 169,898 pounds, which is approximately 265,000 US dollars, from the Darwin Plus Fund to further this vital research. The grant work will focus on a lionfish population density and distribution study, development of a lionfish specific trap for commercial fishers, evaluation of the impacts of lionfish feeding and a population dynamic study to determine the extent to which the population is sustained 
by local reproduction versus larvae arriving from elsewhere via the Gulf Stream. The Bermuda Invasive Lionfish Control Initiative project will play an important role in generating the tools and data required for the implementation of an ongoing Bermuda Lionfish Control Plan. However, the Darwin Plus grant is limited to research activities and it is only the first step towards procur procuring the many resources that will be required to make the Bermuda Lion Fish Control Plan successful and to sustain it in the long term. Efforts will continue to find funding for other elements of the plan. The Lionfish Task Force will combine the resources of the government with a diverse array of stakeholders led activities so that we can make every effort to control the lionfish population at a level that will mitigate the long-term impact of this invasive species on native fish, reef communities, the island's economy, and public health. I would like to thank Mr. Jim Gleason as chairman of the task force as well as all the recreational divers, dive shop operators, fishermen, scientists, and educators for their efforts. I recognize that Bermuda is integrally linked with the ocean. Its health dictates our health. We need as much help as possible to meet this threat head on and spare no effort. For information on the lionfish invasion and also to report sightings or the capture of a lionfish, visit the Ocean Support Foundation website at www dot ocean support dot org. I will now turn it over to Mr. Jim Gleason. Thank you, Minister. Thank you. Uh, we've had a lot of different activities going on by the um, coalition members, and it was has been a really pleasure of mine to help uh, get these groups together to work on this lionfish project. One th of the uh, initiatives is our spearing permit program that was reinitiated, that was started uh, a few years ago. And I, oh, excuse me. And I will give you one of the uh, flags that a permit holder flies when they're out spearing lionfish. Thank you very much. Okay. And I will use this. Okay. And if you'd like to get a permit, we'll get you in one of our courses and get you a tag. Okay. And also, um, he mentioned a documentary that was done by Robert Zuhl. I'm giving him a copy of that 25-minute documentary that really tells the story of the lionfish here in Bermuda. Yes, great. And I'm very uh, thankful for the people who've worked with me and uh, helped me learn a lot and get this whole thing moving along. And we look forward to creating a control plan and doing what's necessary to get this menace under control. So thank you very much. Thank you. Any questions from the media? Yes, please. Um, would some of the options include giving permission for um, Lots of pots to be used at any time for the capture of lionfish? Right now, the Department of Environmental Protection is going to start a trapping experiment during the summer with a few of the lobster fishermen. Because we are having success with the lobster fishermen catching lionfish during the lobster season, that's also integrated into the Darwin grant as well as supporting that initiative. And it's gotten a lot of notice by the UK government. In fact, one of our uh, team members, I believe Joanne Pitt, uh, will be going to a conference in the Cayman for the Overseas Territory Groups to talk about what we're trying to do with the traps. We are restricted to lobster traps. We do not want to go back to uh, fish pots, but we think we can modify those traps to some degree to increase the number of lionfish that are captured and hopefully do that year round. One part of the plan that we've written specifically talks about uh, reviewing legislative and policy issues. Uh, I can't say what's going to happen right now. We're restricted to a five foot or shorter uh, spear with a three prong paralyzer tip. Works very well. We, some of us cut them down to two feet or four feet. Uh, we'll just have to see what makes sense because we have to be careful that the measures we take to control this fish don't damage the reefs and, and other native fish that we're trying to protect. 
So that's far down, makes it a different challenge altogether. At the deep depths the te technical team goes to, the OSF technical team, they'll dive down to 200 feet. They're very limited on time, but they're finding so many that on a 20 minute dive, they can come back with 30 lionfish. But we're starting to see them inshore more and more. We have groups from BSAC who have been regularly diving the Watch Hill Park dive site for the past three weeks. They've gotten 20 off of that dive site. Uh, Corey Eddy, who is also part of the grant and a, a PhD student from the University of Massachusetts, uh, went out with a group from BIOS over the course of, what, uh, three weeks and got, uh, how many? 20 out of the cathedral, which is a single dive site. It's sort of an underwater cave. So these are 50 feet or less, uh, which is telling us that they're expanding and moving up the column and we're not talking about small ones. Mm -hmm. This is a small one. We're talking about 15, 17, 18 inch lionfish uh, that we're seeing on a regular basis. Uh, so that's why we're concerned and that's why uh, we need everybody to help out. Everybody on the island can do their part, whether it's simply talking to their neighbors and telling them about lionfish, telling them the truth. They're not poisonous, they're just venomous, they're good to eat. We had a, a school teacher call us a, a month ago and say, I want to do an after school program for the parents because I've got some fishermen there. They need to understand what this is all about so they can help us out. We are catching them on long lines. Some are kept, people are catching them on hook and line, but that really isn't going to be an effective measure. It just is happening. But it's MRS, isn't it? Yes, it is. But so, that's what we believe. Yeah. Any further questions? Yes. Is there a bounty program in place? No, there's not. Uh, and we've t discussed that as part of our planning process, but there's no funding for that. Mm -hmm. But Minister, the idea of saying to the public, for example, $5 each fish, mm -hmm. you bring in from wherever, we'll pay you, is that the idea to extreme, to eradicate? I don't know where you're going to get yeah. the money. Cayman tried, I'm sorry, no, gonna, 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 Cayman gonna, tried that and it, it just didn't work. But there are, I have uh, just received some information recently that there are some jurisdictions that where the restaurants are offering a bar or food credit, sort of a reverse bar tab, to anybody that brings lionfish into the restaurant. But the only people that can sell lionfish are commercial fishermen. And we really want to keep it that way. I mean, part of this effort is not only to control the lionfish, but hopefully set up a fishery for our local fishermen so that it increases their income. So we've got to look at all of those considerations. It's not a simple Right. If, if I could, if I could just interject, I think what what we what we're looking to do is just a, raise awareness in the general public about the lionfish and, and the threat that it poses to Bermuda. And as a government, we're going to look at all different avenues to to uh, empower Bermudians and particularly commercial fishermen, so that we can get this this threat under control. Lionfish are going to be here. We're never going to eradicate them. It's just a measure of uh, controlling them now.